Hi, today we're going to talk about preparing the soil to lay sod. When you're getting ready to prepare your lawn to lay sod, you want to make sure that you have all of the uh, tree roots, rocks, and, and debris that are that's in your way. Get that out of the way first. Then you take your grading rake and you make it nice and smooth because once you lay the sod, you can't really uh, level it out that easy after it's already down. So you want to make sure that you prepare your sod bed as nice as possible. You don't want to put any fertilizer in also because that sod comes with very shallow roots and it's not able to take up fertilizer. So you want to wait until after the sod is down and it's been mowed a few times before your fertilizer application is applied. But prior to smooth and grade your land the best of your ability using a grading rake. After that, water very, very well because you want that dirt, that yard, to be moist before the sod goes down. Once that's done, if you need to rake and smooth things out again, of course, do so. And then lay the sod and try to do it in as early as possible because sod doesn't hold up on the pallet very long. So you want to make sure you're able to get what's been delivered to your home on the ground quickly. So once you do that, you want to step on it. You lay it in a checkerboard fashion, just like bricks. And then you want to make good contact with the roots of the sod to your soil by walking on it and stepping in and making sure that your seams of your sod pieces are matching up nicely and are really well attached to the ground. Once you've done that, then the watering comes and this is where it gets tricky. We want to water really well the first week or so, making sure that everything stays saturated through the new sod and into the dirt because that's what's going to help those roots start to put their uh, new roots down into your dirt. So once that is over, you want to water about a half an inch or so the first week or so and then it's um, as needed after that. And the way to tell that is to look at the sod and if it's very moist on top and very moist underneath, then you know that there's plenty of moisture to support the roots of the, the grass. When you want to add water is when you start seeing that this is drier. And then you increase your water to run longer but less often so that you're not keeping this all soggy but you're allowing it to dry out in between your irrigations which helps the roots to seek their water and grow and become established. And before you know it, you have a beautiful lawn. 